Welcome back to Catching Up with Corbin. I'm Corbin Gapsky from FDUNice.com, giving you the recap of Knights Athletics from this past week and the school's top performers. Watch out for the men's tennis team as they just took their third NEC matchup this past weekend. They defeated Queen of Piac 4-3. For the Knights, they were led by senior captain Mark Hemme, who first teamed up with senior Peter Sparka, defeating number two doubles 8-6. Hemme then defeated number four singles, getting the match point for the Knights. Other notes worth pointing out, and there's that name again, Arvis Burnson did not lose a game in his straight set single victory at number one. The Knights are returning to action on April 2nd as they head to West Point, New York to take on Army at 3.30 p.m. Also, the women's tennis team remains hot as they stay undefeated in Northeast Conference play, defending Quinnipiac in a throwing 4-3 matchup. That was a rematch of the 2012 NEC Championship match, which Fairleigh Dickinson won a year ago. For the Knights, they were led by Dina Gusarirova, who won number five singles, giving the match point for the Knights. Also for the Knights, they got single victories from senior Anna Ramaport, Celine Mayer, and Manu Lamy. The Knights will return to action this Wednesday as they head to Binghamton, New York to take on Binghamton at 2 p.m. It was a big weekend for softball as they took on LAU Brooklyn. The Knights split the doubleheader, but the real news comes in Game 2 where they won only their second game in program history against the Blackbirds. In Game 1, the Knights fell 4-0 to LIU pitcher Casey Vondrek. Vondrek came back in Game 2, and that's when Maddie Weil and Angie Nieves paced the offense, combining for a 9-for-13 performance. Lauren Stavro received the loss in Game 1, but came back in Game 2, pitching in relief, throwing an inning and two-thirds of scores relief, receiving the win. The Knights will return to action today as they head to Manhattan for a doubleheader against the Columbia Lions for a 3 p.m. start. In Neptune, New Jersey, the women's golf team competed in the Monmouth Hawks Spring Invitational this past Easter weekend, where the team finished in fifth place. The Knights only finished behind NEC foes Monmouth and LA Brooklyn in the field of 10 schools. At the Jumping Brook Country Club, sophomore Monica Pena finished in third place in the individual leaderboard, shooting an impressive 163, including 16 pars and four birdies. The Knights will return to action the 15th and the 14th of April to compete in the Mount St. Mary's Spring Invitational in Littletown, Pennsylvania. The men's track team competed in the Mama season opener this past weekend at West Long Branch, New Jersey, where the team saw top finishes. Freshman Daryl Gooding won the 10,000 meter race after tracking at home that 6.2 miles with a time of 31.56 seconds. Also top finish including Jalen Harris finishing 6th place in the long jump with a distance of 6.01 meters. Also Michael Telsford finished in 5th place in a discus throw of 41.13 meters. The women's track and field team turned an even more impressive weekend at the Mama season opener where coach Charlie Millwood Lee saw 8 different performers finish in the top 10 in their events. Standout performances included Kiana Hydes recording a personal best and winning the 3,000 meter steeplechase with a time of 11.39.91 seconds. Also, Ashley Battle placed third in the 100 meter hurdles with a time of 14.63 seconds. That beat her personal best as well. Finally, Kanisha Brown, Laura Shabazz, and Sky Tiller all finished in the top 20 in the 400 meter dash. Brown, the freshman, led the pack with a seventh place finish of 59.99 seconds. Both teams are back in action on April 4th to the 6th at the Colonial Relays. That will be hosted by the College of William Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia. The baseball team went up against NEC preseason favorite Bryant this past week, where the Bulldogs swept the Knights in the four-game series. Despite the rough start, the schedule looked to turn for the Knights. Freshman Dylan Sprague hit 500 this weekend after going 7-14, including three hits, a career high in the opener. Also, Joel Roman connected her first career home run. The Knights now 3-17 on the year and 0-8 in NEC play, but looking to get back on track this Wednesday when they lose Army in a non-conference game at the Maoli Family Baseball Complex at 3 p.m. The Knights defeated a top 40 Army team that made the NCAA tournament last year 6-4. Concluding the week in Knights Athletic, the men's golf team is competing in the Townsend Invite. The final round will be played on April 2nd. The men currently stand in 7th place. Remember to get all your updates, videos, and stats of Knights Athletics at FDUNights.com. 
Thanks for catching up with Corbin. I'm Corbin Gafsky. Have a great day.